Hey guys, it's Jason here and welcome to another video. Uh, not the video I wanted to make. So I came home tonight, did some stuff with the kids, the family, charged up my batteries. Uh, I actually had to change the connectors on the Gen Z's, uh high voltage ones to get the castle connectors on. Went out with my Ice Max, I was all excited. Kind of my first run, guys. Um, not in front of the house sort of thing. And unfortunately, within about two minutes, I... Shared a tooth off the pinion, and there's my spur. One, two, three, four, five. Um, there's a piece of it. So that really um, sucks, guys. I, uh, you know what, guys? I'm just gonna let you watch the video. It's only a couple minutes long, and. You guys can see what you think of the driving, and yeah, here, check it out. All right, guys so there you have it that was my run and to me it seems i don't know if when i'm coming down that little hill right at the end of the video when you start hearing the noise if you can hear the noise when i'm coming down the hill or if it happened after i'm not sure um but yeah um <laughs> so i'm not gonna sit there and go bash the truck or any of that stuff i'm gonna be honest guys i'm not impressed um i don't feel like i was running the truck hard at all uh, I wasn't doing anything crazy. I have throttle control. I do use, you know, a bit of my brake and stuff in the air. But again, if you guys have watched any of my videos, you've watched the Reaper, um, you know, do that over and over and over again. Um, same with the LST and same with pretty much, guys, anything else I drive. So I don't know what to say. Um, I'm going to obviously now start looking. I don't know what to do. I don't know if I'm going to attempt the belt drive, see what kind of gearing if I can get it, you know, basically geared to what I have now. Um, because like I said, I have it now to the 17 tooth pinion and I was pretty much guys enjoying the performance. I was, I was having fun driving it. I, I was, you know, I thought it was adequate and all that kind of fun stuff. Um, until that happened. So I don't know if there's just a better quality pinion and spur I can go to. Um, yeah. I, uh, I don't know what I'm going to do. So I'm going to look into that tonight and the next little bit and see what I can find. Um, 
But yeah, I'm kind of bummed. It's Friday night. It was a beautiful night. Uh, I know it's a little bit dark in the video, but it was a beautiful night. And I was hoping to obviously run this thing this weekend too. And it pretty much, just like that, guys, it's done. Um, you know, uh, I, I, I don't know what to say. I want to say hopefully, guys, it's kind of a freak, you know, accident. Freak, you know, thing that happened because that definitely doesn't give me a whole lot of confidence in this truck anymore. Um... Still like the truck, still want the truck, but that wasn't cool. Um, anyways, guys, this is kind of a short video. I just thought I would make this kind of an unfortunate update. And again, if anybody watching this video right now has any suggestions, uh, gearing and all that stuff, guys, was fine. Um, you know, pigs were where they were supposed to. That I'd switch them over to the 17. Um, all that stuff was fine. Um, you know, nothing let go. Pinion still good. Um, I, I don't know what to say. Anyways, guys, again, if you guys got any opinions on what you think I should go to or what's an improvement, um, I am strongly considering the belt drive. I've, I've read some pretty good things on that. So, um, on a happy side note, surprisingly today, which came pretty fast, my, uh, the D Hawk, um, bell crank system came in. So I'll probably get to that now because I'll be able to do that in the servo. And since my truck isn't going to be moving, um, I'm not worried about taking it apart and not finishing it right away. So anyways, guys, let me know what you think. Have a good night.